after almost a year and a half in prison, Wa Lon and Cho So U walked to freedom. They left insane prison in Yangon moments after finding out their names were on a list of thousands of inmates to be freed in a presidential amnesty. Their immediate thoughts were for those closest to them and their profession. Inside in the prison and also around the world, people who are wishing to release us. So I would like to say thank you very much for everything. I'm really happy and excited to see my family and my colleagues. Yeah. And I can't wait to go my newsroom right now. Right now, right now. Yeah. And soon after, there were emotional family reunions for the journalists who were arrested in December 2017. Working for the Reuters news agency, they were investigating a massacre of Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar's west when they were found to be in possession of sensitive documents. Lawyers for the journalists said they were framed. Despite little evidence presented by the prosecution, Wa Lon and Cho So U were convicted of violating the Official Secrets Act and sentenced to seven years in prison. They appealed twice unsuccessfully. The case led to an international campaign to have them freed, led by their employer. We are enormously pleased that Myanmar has released our courageous reporters, Wa Lon and Cho So U. Since their arrest 511 days ago, they have become symbols of the importance of press freedom around the world. We welcome their return. Much of the international pressure was focused on Myanmar's leader Aung San Suu Kyi and her party, the National League for Democracy. Before forming the government, they campaigned for human rights and freedom of speech. But throughout the case, they refused to speak out in support of the journalists or to amend laws like the Official Secrets Act that critics say are open to abuse. We can talk about the NLD not having very much power over the military. They do have power over the laws. They have a parliamentary majority. If they wanted to, they could abolish them, and they're not. The ordeal for Wa Lon and Cho So U has come to an end. But it's one that should never have happened to journalists who say they were simply trying to uncover the truth. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.